Can nibs be made with anything other than metals? So yeah, absolutely they can. Um, so with the question you're asking, I'm not sure if you're mean like, can you get a plastic nib that looks exactly like this? and just swap it out. Uh, generally speaking, no. Everything that you see on a conventional fountain pen is gonna have a nib made out of some type of metal. Now the type of metal could vary. It could be titanium or gold or stainless steel. Those are really the big ones. I don't really know of any other material actually uh, other than those, but you certainly could uh, get a variety of different types of nibs out of those combinations. Um, but metal is really the only one that's durable and malleable enough to be able to use in this form with the whole feed and nib as it is in a conventional pen, conventional fountain pen. Now there are other types of pens out there. For example, there's a glass pen. You know, it still uses a nib. Um, it's a completely different design though, you know, just to give you a, an idea here. You know, the way that these glass pens work, this is a Jerobon glass pen. Uh, also have a roller and cleaner one here. It's a very different design. They're very pretty, aren't they? Um, but they still use a nib, but it's a it's a completely different setup than you have on a fountain pen. You know, for example, I have a uh, Jinhao, uh, Jinhao 159 right here. So this conventional fountain pen, you know, it's got a feed that mates up to the back of a metal nib that has a slit in the middle of it that uh, the ink draws down through capillary action through this whole mechanism and that is right on the tip. Glass pens are a little bit different. So they're fluted and they're all hand done too. They're fluted so it still works by capillary action but it doesn't feed through the glass, right? It just wraps around it and it goes down through the fluting. So as you're writing with it, you're writing and it's kind of loaded up almost as if a feed channel is in every single flute. So as you're writing, when you get kind of like that section that runs out, you just turn it a little bit and it kind of keeps on writing with the other channels that are touching the page. So it's, and it's glass, so it's a very different kind of feel. It has no give to it whatsoever. Um, so it's very hard, and very brittle. So it's a very different writing experience but you can still use fountain pen ink with it, which I think is uh, kind of the point. Now it's a dip instrument, so it's not quite the same. Um, the, only fount the only true fountain pens uh, that I know that use these nibs per se uh, use metal nibs. So the glass pen is gonna be a dip pen. There's other types of nibs that you can get, or well, you call them nibs loosely, but basically other types of pens that use a liquid ink with capillary action like that. You can get them out of glass like this. Um, you can also think about like the old school, you know, quill, the feather quills. That was essentially the same concept. Um, so it had a feather, you know, within the, the, the whatever, the quill part of the feather um, would have a cut down the middle of it and that would be where the ink would draw down. Uh, it's it's um, not very commonly used today, but it's certainly a material that can be used. You can also use, you know, brush pens. That that I think isn't really considered to be a nib. But then um, you can use other things. Like you get into more artistic calligraphy kind of stuff. You can use, you know, reeds and folded nibs. You can use um, uh, like a bamboo and stuff like that. And it, it works sort of in the same concept of the capillary action and how a nib works in a fountain pen. But it's not the kind of thing that's going to swap in and out and all that kind of thing. So there are different varieties of writing instruments and materials that can be used, but it's going to have its own kind of flair to it. You know what I mean? A glass pen really isn't super comparable to a fountain pen, just like a bamboo pen is not going to be the same as, as any of these other ones. So different materials that are used for the pens are going to be so different really fundamentally in how they write that they kind of fit their own classification and I wouldn't consider them to be the same as a fountain pen.